Hey, it's Ryan Lee. I'm back from London. We had a nice trip. I uh, hope you didn't miss me too much. I actually miss doing these videos. I love doing this, but I didn't want to bring my laptop. I didn't want to check email. I just wanted to unplug for a week, especially after the Continuity Summit two weeks ago. Just needed some unplugged uh, family time. So I, I will tell you one thing, though. You know, doing well online is great, and having money in the bank is, is great, but being able to travel, like, well, <clears throat> like, for example, you know, I was able to fly my wife, uh, my three kids, and myself. We flew first class there and back from London. And in our hotel, you know, there's five of us, so instead of getting one small room, we actually had two really big suites that connected. So it was like, you know, 2,000 square feet. So I will tell you, that is definitely a perk of, of doing well and, and following my steps and building a nice online business. So here's what I want to share with you. And, and by the way, again, the trip was fun. Got to see Stonehenge and London Eyes, lots of fun stuff. So here's the lesson. Right before I left, I placed a couple of ads in a really popular email newsletter, and they have 60, 70,000 people, but it's very targeted. So I got a lot of brand new subscribers to my program who'd never heard of me before. You know, you guys have hopefully been getting my, my videos for a while, and you know me and the products I sell and stuff I do, but these people never heard of me before. So they were brand new, and one of the things I sent them to was my recurring revenue report, where I give away my DVD with the three DVD set, teach them exactly how to build an e-publishing empire, plus the first free month of the Recurring Revenue Report. And, and if you go to recurringrevenuereport.com, you'll see exactly how I run it. You know, you get the free DVD and the free newsletter, and here's why. And I'm very specific. Here's why I'm giving it to you. It's a bribe. I want you to try my newsletter. After that, it's $39.95 a month. I'm 100% upfront. I don't try to sneak it in or bury it on terms of services, where I've seen a lot of people do it, by the way. They'll bury it so far deep, and they kind of sneak sneak in the billing, and hopefully that, and they hope you never catch it. But that's not the way you should run your business. So, you know, again, I am always trying to overly uh, be upfront, but there's still people who were like, "Oh, I didn't realize I was going to be billed after the month," uh, and we received. I mean, we we got hundreds and hundreds of new customers during that those that two day promo. But I think we received two emails from people who were like really annoyed saying, hey, I had no idea. You know, I didn't know I was going to be rebuilt. Refund me right away or I'm going to contact my credit card company and, and you know, file charges kind of stuff. And I just want to tell you that stuff happens. Unfortunately, no matter how, how, how much you tell people what you're going to be doing, how transparent, there's still going to be a couple of people who are always going to be annoyed. So you just have to prepare for it. Prepare for it. And what you should try to do is shelter you yourself from that as much as possible because it's still annoys me. It puts me in a little bit of a funk. So that was the great thing about going away is I'm able to have my, our customer support, Dimitri and Gio and everyone else on the team kind of handle that stuff and take care of the customers. And what you want to do if someone says that, say we're really sorry for the, for the misinterpretation. We actually were pretty clear on the site and show them where we had it. But, but say, don't worry. We're still going to refund you 100%. Um, and, you know, we wish you the best. And that's it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to say, well, as you can see in the terms of service, here's it says 39 and we're not going to refund it. And too bad. Um, you don't want to play business that way. Just refund it. It's much easier than dealing with chargebacks and dealing with merchant accounts and credit cards and, and all the hassle that comes with it. So just refund them. But my point is you have to be really clear. And even though you're going to be clear, there's still going to be people who are going to misinterpret what you're saying. So don't get upset when it does happen because when you start playing in the game of recurring revenue and continuity income, these types of things do come up. So I'm going to share with you strategies over the next couple of weeks, too, to reduce some of these refunds and cancellations. Uh, in the meantime, we still do have, I checked, we have a couple of copies left of the pre-release of the Continuity Summit, which goes through all of these strategies and, uh, I don't know, 30 hours of content. Um, we have a few more left before the, the first 100 are gone, because once the first 100 are gone, you can't come to that, free, that workshop I'm going to do ahead of time. I'm going to do an optional workshop, because that was the most feedback I got was, this information was so good, but it was like just so overwhelming. There's so much, and people just wanted some kind of step back, A to Z kind of stuff. So that's what I'm doing next year. The next summit, I'm going to do a workshop teaching. I'm going to teach the whole thing, you know, the step by step how to do it. And if you're one of the first hundred to get the pre publication, you're going to come to that pre workshop for free. And that's otherwise going to be a couple of hundred bucks. So uh, just go to continuitysummit.com to request your DVDs. Again, I'm glad to be back. The goatees here. Let's rock and roll. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.